When my mom passed away in 2020, I realized two things. The first was that we didn't have as many discussions as I thought we had had about what she wanted for the end of her life and after her life ended. And number two was that I started having more discussions with my dad and my husband and my kids about what we wanted those times to look like for us. In this week's Parsha, Vayichi, we see that Jacob has this discussion with Joseph about how he wants his end of life to look. He's specific and he makes Joseph swear that he wants him to bring him out of Egypt and up to Canaan. At the end of the portion, we see that Joseph makes his brothers promise the same thing, to bring him out of Egypt and up to Canaan when the Jewish people leave Egypt. Furthermore, in the Haft Torah, we see David direct Solomon for what he wants his end of life directives to be. We see that Joseph gave very indescript instructions. Jacob gave more instructions and David gave the most instruction. With my mom, I always felt it was sort of a little bit vague what she wanted. Even though I had the general idea, it was a lot like Joseph's description. What I always regret is that we didn't have that conversation. And that's really sad to me. But with my dad, I feel like I have these conversations more regularly and I have a really good, clear idea of where things are and how to process things after he passes away. And I feel like I have had a really open, honest discussion about what he would like us to do. I also feel like my husband and I have a clear understanding of what each other would like and our kids understand what we would like. I even wrote a book called Organized Jewish Life to help my kids so that they don't get stuck like I got stuck. Only you can express what you want to your family. In this week's Parsha, there's 85 verses, which corresponds to the Hebrew word peh. Only you from your mouth can express to your family and your friends what you want. Take some time, put it on the calendar so it really happens, and figure out what you want and figure out the steps you need to implement that so that it actually happens, so that when the time comes, everybody knows what the plan is. Clarity is kindness. Be kind to your friends, be kind to your family. Let everybody know what you want. It'll be so much easier to cope and mourn when everybody knows what's on the agenda. Need help with this or anything else regarding organization? Please don't hesitate to reach out. For Shabbat Shalom.